Okay, should be working. Hi guys, <laughs> like this. Hi guys, Jonathan here, as usual, and uh, I'm in my living room again, so I'm not using my the background that I'm building uh, in uh, my bedroom again for the second time. <laughs> the last video was sitting down there, and uh, because you know I like to change uh, things, you know, to shift, to change my position uh, in the space in general. So. Jokes aside, uh, today we're talking about something that I've been uh, thinking about uh, lately. Uh, I mean, <laughs> after I got back from my Italian uh, holidays, uh, because I went uh, to Italy in, um, in December for Christmas, uh, and uh, I also shot some, uh, I mean, <laughs> I took some pictures and I shot uh, videos uh, like a street photography POV in Venice. If you didn't check it out, uh, now you have the occasion to go and check it out. It's in my, in my account here. My channel so uh, but I'm not talking about Venice like specifically I'm also talking about Venice but not only so nothing I basically was just uh, I was editing these pictures from uh, my Italian trip uh, in general and uh, I noticed something I noticed that uh, there was some uh, there was like um, yeah some sort of difference you know comparing these pictures to the pictures that I'm usually taking here in Portugal because at this moment I'm in Portugal as usual <laughs> I was saying before that uh, yeah I noticed that there was some sort of pattern you know and it's not one of those things uh, yeah it's not something massive it's not something like uh, very very noticeable but it's something that I noticed uh, because uh, I took the pictures and I'm, I'm usually taking my pictures so I'm noticing it when something is uh, slightly different you know so what I noticed uh, and uh, Keep in mind that uh, it's not something massive, it's something like subtle uh, that uh, made me think of making this video actually. Is that when uh, I'm in Italy usually, and I'll put some pictures here. Uh, for example, last time I went to Italy, I went to Bologna, I went to Venice, and I also took some pictures in my little hometown, the little town where I come from, that is like uh, 10,000 uh, inhabitants. So yeah, it's uh, very small. And yes, I noticed that there was like some sort of pattern, you know. Uh, I noticed that uh, my creativity my creativity in general was uh, sparkling I because also when uh, apart from noticing it after taking these pictures I remember that when I was taking when I was actually shooting these pictures in these places like in these Italian cities uh, during my my holiday basically uh, yeah I was feeling uh, very inspired and uh, you could say that is uh, like obvious because when you're on holiday you feel more inspired and you're visiting uh, like new places or places you're not used to and uh, I mean it <laughs> makes total sense uh, but I don't know at the same time I noticed uh, that this pattern was uh, in my case uh, taking pictures of something more uh, like uh, I don't want to say extraordinary but something yeah something out of the ordinary you know I was searching uh, more in comparison to my usual photography here in Portugal for, uh, I don't know, so unusual sources of light, uh, different types of contrasts, uh, uh, geometric compositions. Uh, yeah, I was feeling like more, uh, more inspired, more uh, uh, attentive. Mm, I was checking my surroundings uh, in a more, like in a deeper way. Mm, I don't know if I'm conveying <laughs> something or not. So yeah, I, I noticed this and also Basically, when I was editing the pictures, when I exported the pictures, the usual process, when you edit, export, and then post uh, on Instagram or whatever, whatever you want, uh, I noticed this. I noticed that in comparison to my usual pictures, uh, the one uh, that I took in Italy, the ones that I took in Italy, look uh, more, yeah, um, I don't want to say more interesting, but like interesting in a different way. They look more uh, explosive <laughs> in some ways, you know. They look more uh, rich in uh, depth, uh, in contrast, uh, in uh, from different points of view, as I was saying before, like contrast, uh, lights, uh, shadows. Uh, uh, I don't know. And this made me think that uh, probably I was like. Uh, I don't know, compensating in some ways, because then comparing these pictures to my usual pictures that I take here in Lisbon, basically in Lisbon, in Caparica, in the place where I live, or around here in Portugal in general, uh, usually when I'm uh, when I'm here in Portugal and I go out to take pictures uh, they look more like uh, I mean sometimes they are rich uh, in contrast uh, in lights uh, they are more uh, particular you know 
mm, they are different. But a lot of times, like most of the times, I think, uh, I try to like um, isolate uh, subjects uh, to get uh, some sort of uh, nostalgic uh, vibe, uh, some like peaceful vibe, uh, some romantic vibe in general. And uh, I noticed this especially comparing uh, the pictures that I took in Italy to some pictures that I took, for example, uh, here on the beach in Caparica or uh, in other places uh, in Lisbon where I, I don't know, uh, yeah, when I try to depict, uh, uh, I don't know, solitude, uh, something more uh, reflexive, uh, is it a word? Uh, yeah, when I, when I try to, I notice that I'm trying to convey this message, usually, through my pictures, uh, and these are all things that are like uh, instinctive, that I'm not uh, like actively thinking about this. Uh, but it seems to compensate something else. So I noticed that uh, uh, when I'm in Italy, uh, because I've been uh, I've been living in Italy for I mean I lived in Italy for like 24 years, and then I moved to Portugal uh, like four years ago. So I know how it goes <laughs> in Italy and uh, the feeling, the vibes uh, from my places, from the places of my yeah my adolescence, my youth <laughs> in general, and. Um, I don't know, probably uh, when I'm there I try to compensate uh, because I come from like, uh, from yeah, it's like a rural background, uh, you know, it's like a small town in a province, this kind of stuff. Uh, so I try to compensate with something uh, like more, uh, like bigger, something more vibrant, something more, uh, I don't know, uh, to give the, uh, to give my pictures uh, some sort of a grandeur in general, if it's a word again. And uh, so I try to, comp to compensate on this side, uh, while probably here in Lisbon, now is a little bit different because I'm living in a small town again after living for like three years in the city center of Lisbon uh, but in general what uh, like stayed with me uh, after living three years in the city center is the fact that uh, I'm compensating uh, the fact of uh, living in a very fast environment with a lot of uh, I mean, a lot of distractions, a lot of, uh, you know, sparkling lights like this uh, by taking pictures of uh, like more peaceful and more intimate moments uh, in some ways. And uh, this is something that I've been doing uh, uh, for the last, uh, yeah, for the last years, basically, since I moved uh, to Portugal. So my photography changed uh, a bit and I'm noticing that uh, when I'm uh, back in Italy again, uh, I usually, I used, uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to yeah, take different uh, types of pictures. So basically that's it. When I'm in Italy I compensate uh, the fact that I'm uh, possibly bored. I mean it's not boring because I'm visiting my family, I'm staying with uh, the ones I love, but still the, I'm compensating for uh, like a boring background with something uh, vibrant and strange and mystic and this kind of stuff. Uh, well, when I'm here, it's more like compensating on the other side, like compensating a, a sort of a fast life every day going to the city center. I mean, I work hybrid, so I'm not going every day, but still like the fast life of someone who lives uh, alone because I live with my girlfriend, so I'm not living with my family. I have to, yeah, to do all, all the stuff that you have to do when uh, you live alone. So clean the house, uh, do the groceries, all this kind of stuff. Uh, so I compensate this uh, with something more uh, quiet, uh, like peaceful, uh, romantic uh, in some ways. Uh, and uh, I mean, it's interesting because uh, I know that I've been going around the subject for a long time at this point. But in my opinion, I don't know, I found it uh, like very, very interesting. And I wanted to share this because it might make you think and uh, reflect uh, on your photography as well. Because, uh, yeah, because it's, uh, it's strange how our, our feelings, our heart uh, in general, can uh, yeah, affect uh, the way we take pictures uh, also. Because sometimes we feel like, uh, I mean, I have a style, I want to take this kind of pictures, I want to take uh, that kind of pictures. But at the same time, uh, there's something like deeper, uh, in, my, in my opinion, when I'm going out, uh, for example, uh, to, to shoot, uh, when I'm going out with, uh, with the idea of taking pictures, uh, I enter this kind of uh, like uh, detached mindset. Uh, so I'm, I mean, I'm still present. I'm not uh, like crossing the street without uh, checking for the cars or this kind of stuff. 
I mean, not always. But I don't know, it's, um, I enter in this kind of uh, yeah, mindset, this kind of state of mind in which I'm taking pictures and I'm only thinking about uh, taking pictures. And I feel like uh, I'm disconnected in some ways. Uh, but at the same time, uh, noticing these uh, kind of patterns uh, in the type of pictures that I'm taking in different environments, uh, it's uh, like obvious to me that there's something deeper that your feelings are still influencing the way you take pictures. So yeah, nothing. Just wanted to share this and I didn't want this video to be like too long because it's just like a reflection of mine uh, about photography. But uh, I don't know guys, it's interesting. So if uh, it happened to you, if you also happen to think about this subject, please uh, leave a comment because I'm very interested in, um, I mean, understanding if it's something that I'm experiencing and I'm living alone or if I'm in a good company with the people who follow this channel or people who are interested in photography in general. So yeah, guys, leave a like, a comment. If you want to share your thoughts, you're welcome to do it. And same thing as usual, guys. Check my website out. I have a shop section now. I'm selling my Lightroom presets. I'm selling prints also. Uh, check my Instagram out uh, if you're feeling like this uh, and if you're not feeling like this uh, don't, don't do it and uh, if you want to subscribe to this channel it's free for now it's free <laughs> I don't think that you will ever be on sale um, the subscription to my channel but still it's free so do it if you want and uh, see you in the next video <laughs> bye guys <laughs>